Hello indeed, the last week of November has this special feel. Our shop is very busy, my mind is occupied with Christmas and coming festivities and there's a little bit of disbelief that another year is almost gone. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday and I'm going to make a sweet treat for him to celebrate his special day. The children are in bed, the house is all quiet and I can't help but think how beautiful these small ordinary moments are when life feels simple and good. Here I am in my little kitchen making homemade ice cream for my husband's birthday. I got to spend another year with this wonderful man raising children, running business, tending to our home and having a lot of fun along the way. the day with a little bit of self-care. A hot bath must be one of the greatest pleasures of life in winter. Good morning, I am up early as I have an important cake to bake. It's a brownie cake that I'm going to serve with cream and fresh raspberries. I'm actually not very good at making brownies, but since it's my husband's favorite treat, I keep trying. He always swears my brownies are the best. I think it's more his heart speaking than his sense, but I suppose that's what love is all about. Nothing in life is perfect, but having another person who loves and supports you makes all the daily struggles so much easier. Of course, I'm not just talking about baking a cake, but also the difficult stuff. Raising children, work, health problems. It's so good to have a loving shoulder to rest your head on. not a usual cake, it is Andre's birthday cake. I'm going to serve with the homemade ice cream you saw me making last night and fresh raspberries. He will love it. He loves dark chocolate, he loves brownies, he loves fruit. So I think this cake is just perfect for Andre. went for a late breakfast at the local farm shop and treated ourselves to a traditional English breakfast. 
we also spent some time browsing the shop. My husband, of course, immediately went to his favorite section. Those sweets reminded me of the treats I used to enjoy during Christmas in my childhood in Poland. We couldn't leave the farm shop without donuts. I swear they sell the best donuts in all of Somerset. of November feels so dramatic. There is the sense of things ending hanging in the air. Some trees still clinging to their autumn leaves while others have let go and are already resting and regenerating, ready to spring back to life next year. When we talk about the small joys of ordinary life, one of my biggest joys is having a place to share these little observations about the seasons here on YouTube. I've been on this earth for 36 years, but it's been only 8 years since I started paying attention to the natural cycles and what they mean to me. I've noticed the shifts that happen during the changing seasons and how they affect me and the world around me. Each season brings something new and teaches us valuable lessons. It's getting dark so early these days. Next month we'll be celebrating winter solstice, so the nights are still lengthening as we move into the depths of winter. I know some people feel sad or even depressed during this time of the year, but I choose to embrace it, turning on my festive lights and lighting my candles early. It's the darkness that allows them to shine, and I simply choose to enjoy it instead of complaining about something I cannot change.
It's now Sunday late afternoon and I'm preparing a roast dinner for our family. We enjoy it all year round except on hot summer days, but now in winter and so close to Christmas there's really a special feeling about this dinner. As I'm starting to prepare, Jacob, my older son, is still out, so I'm not sure if he will be eating with us, but I hope he makes it. Sunday dinners have become a real joy for me, and I love having my whole family gathered around the table. It might seem simple and everyday thing, but knowing how fast children grow, I have this feeling that this might be the last few years we all gather around the table on Sunday afternoons. Of course, I will be happy and excited for Jacob to start his adult life and shape it the way he wants, but for now, I cling to those Sunday roast dinners because they leave my heart full. Some of you might know that my biggest dream at the moment is buying a house. It is on not so distant horizon. It somehow makes things harder with this house. I often let myself daydream scrolling through Pinterest, planning the perfect kitchen and my dream fireplace, while at the same time feeling frustrated with our current house. How small it is, how little storage space it has, how old and outdated the furniture is. But looking at this footage of me and Andre cooking, it really makes me realize that happiness lies here, in this very moment, in this imperfect, not exactly beautiful kitchen. The past doesn't exist anymore and the future is not guaranteed. All we have are these moments here and now, and honestly, I am the happiest I have ever been. It's these ordinary moments, like cooking with my husband and preparing meals for our children in this little imperfect, but our kitchen, where true happiness is hidden. And the good news is that Jacob is now back home. I think food is something that will always entice him to return. I'm setting the table with the white tablecloth, even though I know 100% that both Rosa's and her dad's gravy will end up on it. I really couldn't care less. I'm just happy that we get another Sunday roast dinner together as a family. Life feels so good and sweet right now.
And now it's time for Andre's birthday cake. My husband is a wonderful man and I feel so lucky that he chose me and that I get to build this life with him. Andre, I know you're watching this. Happy birthday. I love you more than words can say. Thank you so much for watching.